guys, welcome to my yard. I'm working on a project that I want you to be involved in because we're going to do a really fun thing in class with it, okay? So, I'm going to outline the yard. I did a little bit of work ahead of time to save some time. And I want to put down some stone as a border on an area over here that I already measured. So right straight along here on the outside, which will be the perimeter, up to here, I measured it as 10 feet. And then I want to continue the stone from this corner only up to here. I'm not doing the whole thing right now. Up to where these rocks are. And I measured that at 13 feet. So we have 10 feet over here and then 13 feet over here. But you know me, I got to think of something else along to do with it, right? So I was looking at this area over here. I may want to put in some of those fancy white stones. But I'm not going to be doing just the perimeter. Now I have to do the area. So we'll be measuring this. Now, we already know what this is over here. From here just to that corner, we know is 13 feet. But now we have to get the length because area, remember the formula, is length times the width. So I'll go with my tape measure, which is very handy if you're measuring by yourself, because it always has a little clip on the end. Now I don't have to bend down on the ground to measure it. I can just easily hook it up to the fence. Hopefully it stays. Okay, and just carry it out. I'm going to buy a lot of stone. It's measuring eight feet. Hmm. So, we now know that here from the fence to here is eight feet, and from here to here is ten feet. Now, keep those numbers in mind because we're going to have to work out the area. But suppose, let's think. Over here, I have this small little brick area where I keep the bird bath and whatnot. And I'll put other decorations on it over the summer also. But I may want to move it or do another one just like that where the stones are going. Do I need to have the stones on top of the brick? That would be wasteful of a the brick. Well, let's measure this and see what it is. Four feet by four feet, making that a perfect square. Four feet by four feet. Hmm. Well, what are we going to do with that information? That's part of your homework that you're going to have to figure out. Now, let's go back to the stones that we're going to line the small little area with. This is what I'm going to be using. Okay? And when measured, end to end, it comes to 13 and a half inches. So each one of these stones is 13 and a half inches. But I don't want just one layer of stones. I want three layers. So now you're going to have to tell me how many stones I need to buy. Remember the formula is length times the width. Say for instance we have 7 feet by 3 feet. You would multiply that and what would you get? Hopefully all of you are saying 21. But would that be the correct answer? You might get partial credit. But how do we record area? What kind of units do we record them in? Anybody remember that from our state test? anybody said 21 square inches, you got the correct answer. Because area is always measured in square units. So, your homework assignment is going to be, you need to find the total length that will be covered with the stone. Okay? And then, each piece of stone is 13 and a half inches. 
So when you get the length, you have the measurement for the stone, you're going to need to tell me how many pieces of stone I'm going to need. Here's a hint, times three. Now you're going to find that small little area that I may want to cover with the white stones. But I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in there. I may move that four by four little brick space over into where the area is. You need to find out if the brick is moved over there, what do we need to do with our area? Now, everybody completes this homework assignment, we're going to have a follow-up activity that Mr. G is going to be involved in, which will be a lot of fun. So good luck. If you have any questions, you can ask me in class. See you tomorrow, guys, and I will be better dressed and not in my garden clothes. Have a good night.